Imagine, if you will, a vast ocean of fire, our sun, churning with plasma storms and magnetic tempests that could swallow worlds whole. And somewhere within that blinding sea of light, a silent visitor is approaching. From another star, its name is 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered. It is not from here, not from our solar neighborhood, not even from the same cloud of dust that birthed our planets. It's a messenger from the deep between the stars, and right now it is racing toward the sun at nearly 68 kilometers per second. Put that in perspective, that's fast enough to cross the distance from Earth to the moon in just over an hour, faster than any spacecraft humanity has ever built, faster than our instruments can comfortably track. And yet, as it plunges inward, the world's telescopes are about to go blind. In mid-October, 3i slash Atlas will slip behind the sun, vanishing into a solar conjunction, a time when the sun's glare swallows the sky, rendering all instruments useless. For several weeks, no telescope, not even those in orbit, will be able to see it. The universe will simply go silent. And during that silence, this massive, unpredictable traveler, possibly 50 kilometers wide, perhaps the largest interstellar object ever recorded, will dive headfirst into the sun's fierce electromagnetic field. What happens next? No one truly knows. Will it fragment? Will it glow, pulse, discharge, or disappear? Will it reveal something about how matter behaves when torn from alien stars and thrust into our solar wind? These are the questions keeping astronomers awake tonight, because the moment of truth begins now. When we trace the path of 3i slash Atlas through our solar system, the numbers themselves tell a story of alien precision and of a cosmic outsider that does not belong. At this very moment, 3i slash Atlas is carving a sharp, slanted path inside the orbit of Mars, tilted about five degrees off the ecliptic plane, the flat highway where all planets travel. But unlike Earth, Venus, or even comets that graze the sun, this one moves against the flow. Its orbit is retrograde, slicing head-on through the solar system like a cosmic blade. The inclination is 175 degrees, almost perfectly opposite the planetary direction. It's a mathematical signature of something truly foreign, a messenger that came from beyond our sun's gravitational family, traveling from the dark between the stars. Back in early July, the Atlas Survey Telescope first clocked its speed at 58 kilometers per second. Now, as it plunges ever deeper toward the sun, that speed climbs toward a staggering 68 kilometers per second at perihelion. The moment of closest approach on October 29th, 2025 at 1155 UTC. At that point, it will pass at about 1.36 astronomical units from the sun inside the orbit of Mars, but still safely beyond Earth's path. It will not dive into the corona like the suicidal sun grazers of old, Instead, it will skim the inner system, threading a course through regions where the solar wind roars and magnetic fields twist violently, an invisible tempest that few objects survive unchanged. To us, it will appear to vanish into the sun's light, somewhere in the constellation Virgo, completely hidden from sight. Yet beyond that glare, it will be enduring one of the most extreme environments known to physics, the electromagnetic furnace of the sun's domain. The minor planet center confirms its orbit as hyperbolic, meaning its eccentricity is greater than one. In simple terms, this visitor will never return. Its inbound journey, its slingshot swing, and its outbound escape will happen only once in human history. We are witnessing a one-time passage of something that has traveled for eons through interstellar space and now, just for a brief moment, crosses paths with us. Every kilometer it travels now carries it closer to the sun and further from the only vantage points capable of seeing it. This is the geometry of a true cosmic interloper, a traveler whose origins lie light years away, now racing toward a destiny written in the plasma tides of our star. Imagine, if you will, the cosmic clock ticking toward silence. 
It is October 21st, 2025, and 3I slash Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever recorded, is now slipping behind the sun into a blinding curtain of light that even our best instruments cannot penetrate. The world's telescopes, from Chile to Hawaii, from the James Webb's deep field to Mars orbiters, have gone dark. Every observatory, every spaceborne eye that once tracked this object's shimmering path is now forced to look away. Astronomers call this period a solar conjunction, but in reality, it is a blackout, an enforced silence where the universe hides its secrets. The geometry is cruel. As 3i slash Atlas passes behind the sun, the solar elongation angle, that small gap between the object and the solar disk, shrinks to nearly zero. The glare from our star becomes overwhelming, saturating every detector with torrents of light. Instruments automatically shut down, both to protect themselves and to avoid false readings. For the first time in months, the data stream falls to nothing. The chatter on scientific networks quiets. The sky, once filled with excitement and movement, becomes a wall of blinding light. The comet's position cannot be confirmed. Its brightness cannot be measured. Its structure, hidden completely. For a few long weeks, humanity is blind to one of the rarest cosmic visitors ever to enter our solar system. Think of the emotional tension building across observatories worldwide. For months, over 120 observing runs had been coordinated. Emergency override programs at flagship telescopes were authorized. Scientists held frantic Slack channels and midnight Zoom meetings, racing to catch every photon before the inevitable blackout. These weren't just researchers. They were explorers of the unknown, staring into the last frontier. And then the curtain falls. In the final images captured around October 18th, as the object's angular separation from the sun dropped below critical thresholds, astronomers watched the faint point of light drift toward invisibility. In those last moments, brightness data showed something unexpected. 3i slash Atlas was not fading. It was brightening. That small anomaly sent ripples through the community. Was it a burst of activity? A jet of gas erupting from its surface? Was it fragmentation? Or could it be an entirely new phenomenon? The sunlight interacting with material that doesn't behave like normal cometary dust? No one could say. Then the silence began. Even the great coronagraphs, the instruments designed to block the sun's glare and reveal the faint corona around it, could not help. The Lasco C3 on SOHO, the Stereo spacecraft, and the Parker Solar Probe all turned their instruments toward the region where 3i slash Atlas should have been. And yet, nothing. You see, at magnitude 12, this object is far too faint for instruments designed to study explosive solar flares and massive coronal ejections. The corona is simply too bright, a roiling sea of charged plasma that drowns all subtlety. The object's angular size, a few arc seconds at best, is indistinguishable from the background noise. Data analysts try one last desperate technique, a digital method called shift and stack. The principle is elegant. Take hundreds of images, predict the object's motion across the sky, and digitally align the frames so that any faint moving object stands out. In theory, it can make the invisible visible. In practice, it is a monumental task. Each frame must be aligned with sub-pixel precision. The comet's ephemeris, its predicted orbit, must be nearly perfect. And yet, even after processing terabytes of data, the outcome is silence. The signal-to-noise ratio stays below one, nothing but static and solar fury. Meanwhile, orbiters around Mars, like Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, provide humanity's final glimpses before the object slips completely out of reach. From their vantage point, they capture a handful of long exposure images, faint, ghostly smudges against the Martian sky. In those frames, the coma glows softly, the tail unresolved, the nucleus invisible, and then nothing more. The loss of data is total.
Between mid-October and mid-November, the solar system's most mysterious visitor is hidden behind the sun. No telescope can track it, no probe can measure it. Every minute of that blackout is a minute of potential transformation. Will 3i slash Atlas remain intact? Will it fragment under solar heat? Or will it emerge brighter, defying every physical model we know? Scientists are left with only simulations, running countless computer models that predict outcomes they can't yet verify. Some models suggest fragmentation, others predict stability. A few, the most daring, hint at something stranger, that 3i slash Atlas could be composed of a material so light and resistant to heat that it may endure conditions that no ordinary comet could survive. And so, the world waits as October fades into November, 3i slash Atlas passes through the most extreme plasma currents of the inner solar system, unseen, unmeasured, and untouchable. Behind that wall of light, a piece of another star system is meeting our sun face to face, tracing its arc through the most hostile electromagnetic field known to science. Then, finally, the silence will break. Around mid to late November, 3i slash Atlas will re-emerge from the solar glare, a dim, ghostly object in the dawn sky. But by then it may not be the same. Its coma might have expanded, its chemistry transformed, its nucleus split into fragments. Whatever comes out from behind the sun will either confirm our understanding of comets or rewrite it entirely. The blackout is not just a pause in observation. It's a test of human patience, a reminder that even in our age of satellites and telescopes, the universe can still hide its greatest mysteries behind the light of its own star. And then something extraordinary happens. Late November 2025, after weeks hidden behind the sun, three I slash Atlas returns and it's glowing green. Not faintly, not subtly, but vividly, unmistakably, like an emerald lantern suspended in the dark. At first, astronomers assume it's an imaging error, but spectroscopy confirms it. Diatomic carbon, C2, is fluorescing under solar ultraviolet light. There's only one problem. Earlier readings showed no dicarbon at all. In other words, the comet is glowing with a color that should not exist. Now imagine what that implies. For an object traveling at 60 kilometers per second, built of unknown chemistry, surviving direct exposure to a coronal mass ejection, and yet remaining intact, something about its structure defies every expectation. Typical comets crumble under that kind of stress. They disintegrate, fragment, fade, but not this one. 3i slash Atlas holds together, shining brighter, even as it endures temperatures exceeding 700 Kelvin. Some theorists whisper, perhaps it's hollow. Others suggest an ultralight composite, maybe porous like aerogel. A.V. Loeb even proposed it might be constructed of material not known on Earth. And that's where this moment becomes almost poetic because what we are witnessing might not just be a comet at all, but a messenger from another sun, forged in alien conditions, behaving under physics that mirrors ours, yet composed of elements shaped in another stellar nursery. It's as though two stars, ours and another, are having a silent conversation across the void. When scientists look at 3i slash Atlas now, they're not just studying a comet, they're studying a piece of another solar system's history written in a language of light and chemistry we are only beginning to understand. Against all odds, it survives. Against all logic, it glows. When 3i slash Atlas finally clears the sun's glare, our instruments slowly come back online. One by one, the world's observatories awaken from their enforced blindness. And what they see is silence. No dramatic disintegration, no explosion of fragments, just a faint, steady point of light, fading yet dignified, receding into the black. It is still moving at 68 kilometers per second, still on its one-way path out of the solar system, never to return again.
Vermont scientists analyze every scrap of data, the chemistry, the orbital elements, the mysterious polarization, the green glow. Yet the more they uncover, the deeper the mystery becomes. Was this object born in the debris of a dying star? Was it ejected from a shattered planetary system light years away? Or was it part of something larger, a fragment of a mechanism, a relic of a civilization we cannot yet recognize? We may never know. Because every time we look at the universe, we are reminded that we are not the center of it. Think about that for a moment. For centuries, humans believed the cosmos revolved around us. Then, piece by piece, discovery by discovery, the universe humbled us, first with the planets, then with the galaxies, now with interstellar visitors, silent, ancient messengers, crossing into our sun's domain as if to remind us how small we truly are. Three, I slash Atlas does not speak. It leaves no signal, no traceable path of origin, no evidence of intention. And yet its very existence changes everything because it tells us that we are not alone in material, only in understanding. The dust that made this object, the metals embedded within it, they were born in another star's fire, another sky, another history. And for a few brief weeks, that history passed through ours. This is what I love most about science. Every discovery, no matter how small, is a reminder of how infinite the unknown still is. Each comet, each signal, each particle of light, a whisper from the cosmos saying there is more. Three I slash Atlas is now leaving our solar system forever. But it has already done its work. It has forced us to ask questions that reach beyond astronomy. Questions about time, creation, and the nature of intelligence itself. In the end, we realize the universe is not silent. It's simply speaking in a language we haven't yet learned to hear. Imagine, if you will, the path that 3i slash Atlas now follows, a lonely voyage into the cold interstellar dark. Its engines are gravity and memory. Its map is the invisible geometry of the cosmos. It will drift through space for millions of years, untouched, unseen, until one day, perhaps, it crosses another sun, another civilization, and becomes their mysterious visitor. In that sense, 3i slash Atlas is more than just an object. It is a bridge between stars, between epochs, between the known and the unknowable. It reminds us that our solar system is not an island, but part of a vast cosmic archipelago. Every so often, something from out there comes here, not to destroy, not to warn, but simply to exist. And in its existence, it forces us to look up, to wonder, to ask, who else is out there? And how many more of these wanderers pass by unseen, carrying stories older than the Earth itself? The ancients once looked at comets and saw omens, messengers of gods and harbingers of fate. But now we look at them and see data, equations, molecules, spectra, Yet the wonder, the awe, remains the same. Because deep down, we still feel that shiver, that sense that maybe, just maybe, the universe is aware of us too. When you stand outside on a clear night, remember this. Somewhere far beyond the reach of our telescopes, 3i slash Atlas is still gliding through the dark, carrying within it the dust of another world, another beginning, and if one day another interstellar traveler passes our way, we will be ready, not just with our instruments, but with our curiosity, because every visitor from the stars is not just a piece of rock and ice. It's a message, a message that says you are part of something vast. You are part of something beautiful. And as long as there are minds willing to ask, the universe will continue to answer.